Welcome to one more adventurous video where I take you on an adventure to one of the most iconic places on earth, the Great Pyramid of Giza, the last destination on our six day Egypt trip. Join me as I check out of our hotel in Cairo to take an Uber to Giza Plateau. Get ready for a horse ride and a photo shoot on a camel as we explore the ancient pyramids and the Sphinx. I'll take you inside the Great Pyramid for a glimpse from the past. Hey guys, this is Arvind. I'm here in Cairo. So today is an important day because we're going to Giza, which is a very important destination. And uh, my friends are about to come. So we're gonna get going. My Uber is already waiting. That's the one. It's super cool. Excited. Let's go visit Giza. As I stand before the Great Pyramid of Giza, I can't help but think, wow, this is really massive. The ancient structure located on the Giza Plateau near the modern city of Cairo is a defining symbol of Egypt and last remaining of the seven wonders of the world. It took 27 years to build the pyramid. The precision and the skills required to construct such a massive structure over 4,500 years ago is truly remarkable. But let's be real, it's not like they had Netflix to distract them. I can't help but feel the sense of wonder mixed with a bit of sarcasm as I experience this ancient wonder. So finally the day has arrived. I'm here at Giza. As you can see, we have some beautiful views of the Sphinx. There's a man, body of the life. Oh. Yes. Which king is that? King the captain. Oh. Before you have a moon, you have a rain, you have a cat. It's a British king of All Giza pyramid here, nine. Three deep, six small. You got it. Until the Eiffel Tower was completed in Paris in 1889, the Great Pyramid was the tallest structure made by human hands in the world. We have a fantastic guy. Welcome, sir. Welcome your second country. Yeah. India, Maharaja. This is 145 meters, guys. Look at that. So beautiful. Egypt's pyramid are an archaeological marvel that rise to the height of 479 feet which is 146 meters, with a base of 754 feet, which is 230 meters, and is comprised of over 2 million blocks of stone. Its tip was once comprised of golden capstone until it was disassembled and scattered. And you can see the beautiful pyramid. So it may seem like this is the longest or the tallest pyramid, but it's actually that one. It's called Hofu. And that's number two. And then we've got number three. I'm really excited. The weather is beautiful. We've only got a couple more hours to go. So I'm going to keep this video short, but really excited. <laughs> Building these pyramids was undoubtedly a mammoth task. So who were the individuals that pulled it off? I've heard many theories about who built Egypt's pyramids, including large teams of enslaved Jewish people and wilder ideas, such as inhabitants of the lost city of Atlantis or even aliens. None of these theories are true. In fact, the evidence shows that the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids. The Great Pyramid at Giza was built by Snefru's son, Khufu, who is also known as Cheops. Along with the enigmatic Sphinx and other smaller tombs and monuments, Giza has three principal pyramids. Khofu, originally 481 feet high and sometimes called Cheops, or the Great Pyramid, Khafre, 471 feet, and Menkuri, 213 feet. Situated in the front of the pyramids of Khafre, the colossal Sphinx depicts a mythical creature with the head of a man and the body of a lion. Uh, so right now I'm looking at Sphinx. That's one of the important ones here. Uh, Sphinx has the head of a person but the body of a lion or something else. Not sure. And then overall, as you guys know, there are like nine pyramids. And three pyramids are really big and then there are other small pyramids. These pyramids were like tombs, which is these were uh, used for storing all the different things uh, for the king when he died and then a structure was built on top of it. 
Back in the day, these were covered with gold, especially on the top, it had gold. But of course, over centuries, that has gone away. Khufu, the second king of Egypt's fourth dynasty, begins work on his pyramid. Red Jeref, Khufu's son, holds power for only a few years. He commissioned a pyramid north of Giza at Abu Ruvayish, but the structure is never finished. Menkore, after succeeding his father, places his pyramid next to the Kafare and his grandfather's tomb. The interiors of all three pyramids of Giza are open to visitors, but each requires the purchase of a separate ticket. Although tourists were once able to freely climb the pyramids, that is now illegal. Visiting the pyramids at Giza is once in a lifetime opportunity, but don't let it become once in a lifetime imprisonment opportunity by climbing them. Trust me, the view from the top is not worth the three years in an Egyptian prison. Stick to taking pictures from the designated viewing areas and leave the pyramid climbing to the professional tomb raiders of the yesteryears. Another important thing is inside the pyramid, there are these living apartments almost, as if a person, even after they're dead and their, and their mummies are stored, that they would be able to live and transition to the afterlife. There are a lot of different things that the older Egyptian, Egyptian people used to believe, and uh, some of it I've covered in other videos. Building the Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu, was a monumental task that required meticulous planning and organization. Scribes calculated the number of blocks needed for the pyramid's construction, and the angle of these sides with the ground was set to 52 degrees. This was a complex mathematical problem that was recorded in the Egyptian mathematical pipuri, and a task that Egyptian civil servants excelled at. Additionally, graffiti and inscriptions found at the construction site have allowed scholars to gain insights into the day-to-day -day life of the workers on the site. So there you have it guys, the Great Pyramid of Giza, a massive structure built by a bunch of ancient Egyptians who probably had way better things to do than spending time on social media. But they chose to spend their time building this awe-inspiring wonder that still stands tall today. And don't forget that visiting the pyramids is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So make sure to snap some pictures and soak in the ancient history. Trust me, it'll be way more interesting than scrolling through your feed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more ancient history adventure.